morning everyone and here we are getting ready to head out I can't chat long I need to uh, get on my horse but as you can see comes out. and uh, looks like we got a good meet here today so on we go in today's video I will give you a bit of description on how we take these green thoroughbreds and bring them along as field hunters passing through a couple of gates here and that's part of being in the second field is generally you skip the jumps although we will do a few small ones today as you'll see so we're moving through a little check here and the folks are headed out again I'm gonna drop behind Mary and head through this gate here and uh, things were going pretty well uh, throughout the day as you can see the these two thoroughbreds are moving uh, quite well. Mary's was pretty much a 10 out of 10 for the day. Just super. Uh, we're kind of squeezing through that little stone wall gap there and um, Mary's giving me some instructions here on carefully controlling my horse as we move down a, a hill. are at work there for sure. I think I'm pointing, yeah, there's a bunch of deer running by and the hounds were really good. They uh, did not riot on those deer, uh, great hounds. They, they stuck with the, the huntswoman. We did uh, quite a few stream crossings out there on this meet and this was just uh, excellent, excellent training for the horse. Uh, nice folks there holding the gate for us, and um, it's a it's a great experience for these uh, green horses. All the action here, whether it's going through gates, um, doing a master back like we're doing here, uh, each each little activity is significant. Stopping like here, waiting for for the folks in front of us to get some water and then slowly crossing the stream it's just awesome outing here um, for training these green thoroughbreds picking up a little pace here which is good because we want the horses to get the feel for take it off and then dialing it back one of the little jumps we did, which is fun, part of the training. And another stream crossing where we uh, make a point to carefully walk through. No rushing, just walking nice. And uh, anybody who's in front of you would appreciate that because then you're not splashing mud all over the back of their coat too. So you may think uh, during this video that uh, I, I know what I'm talking about, but really um, I'm I'm the rider. There's a difference between a rider and a trainer. So I'm the rider, Mary's the trainer, but uh, I do my share. And there you can see we're catching up with the first field, heading up a hill here, but not rushing. We're going up at a nice trot actually to control the horse and um, go up the hill at a nice even pace. Head across this field and there's Alice Porter taking some pictures. Thank you. This was a little uh, tricky jump actually because you jump over and then it drops on the other side. So that was a bit of a a test to make sure you don't fall back in your saddle when you when you complete that jump. Heading across a beautiful field here, a uh, beautiful hay field, and uh, I don't need to say much more about it. You can see it for yourself. And another uh, fun opportunity, uh, a nice log here to jump over. You can see the group in front of us 
clear that and I will drop behind Mary here and off we go. There goes Ava. Great, great time out with her every time you're out there. This is a nice little hill climb. Uh, good pace up the hill here and uh, getting some fitness for the rider and the horse. This is really nice, this old uh, building, stone building that the remnants remain. Who knows how old that one is. And now we're weaving our way through this uh, former farmstead and heading up uh, up a hill here through these stone walls. Really pretty, pretty, pretty location. Still going really well. Another nicely controlled walk through a stream, a rocky stream bed. So you definitely don't want to be blasting through things like that. And the horse is doing great. And then pick up the pace a little bit, even it out. And so it was uh, another example here of how satisfying uh, it was for us that the, the horses were so well behaved. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's another little jump here that some of the people are optioning to take. That's a really fun part about um, being in the second field with this group. Uh, they let you take some of these jumps uh, when this, uh, the footing is good and so forth. So we're going to um, pop over that. Here goes Mary, and here I come. And another uh, little great training exercise. As well as going through these rocky stream beds. These are really important to navigate with uh, a nice calm pace and uh, I make sure I do what my wife tells me <laughs> and not blast through these things. So I'm becoming a, a better rider and my horses uh, are becoming uh, really good at this. Another little jump and every, every little jump actually counts in terms of uh, the experience for the horse. So another gate, and uh, these are important to get the horse to understand not to rush through. My horse has never uh, no. seen a cow before, and so it almost ran into that bush. The cattle, okay, nothing I'm doing, Mary. And as you heard there, I was trying to explain to my wife, I was not um, causing the horse to misbehave. It was just a little bit afraid of the, the cow, so we'll have to work on that one. And. That is the wind down of our day. Just an absolutely spectacular training day for us. And uh, we were really delighted to be out there. So uh, we'll be back for more.